so we're going to go over to my project. So now I'm in FTDES. Um, if you ever need help, you click up here. You go to the Help Center, it pops up in a new window, and you can go search for whatever it is that's causing you trouble. I'm going to switch back here. So that help is always available. I'm in the thing called the workspace right now, which is where all of my files are located. So I'm going to I'm going to probably click through this pretty quickly, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see it, see it live. Um, so everything I'm storing for this project I'm showing you is in this folder. And what I want to show you is the uh, the compare weather thing. So let me quick click through a few of these. I'm going to pick one of my model outputs. Um, what I'm going to use now is the um, is the minimum travel time model. So this is a little more advanced and I'm more just showing you this because I want you guys to know what's possible out there. Um, I think everything I showed you already is very doable for folks who are even beginners at this or just want to look at the map a little bit. Um, this part I'm going to show you is a little more advanced and you might want to tap into somebody who's more of an analyst or more of an FBAN or an LTAN or someone locally or at the regional office that can maybe help you with some of these things. But I mostly want to show you this because I think to show you what's possible and um, it also might give you some uh, reason to ask for it. Hey, I'd really like to get that MTT run because I've got this point of concern on my plan that I'd really like to tease out more. So it gives you, so you know it's there, so you kind of know what to ask for. So this model, what does, it actually spreads the fire. So what I like to use these for is spot, kind of spot fires. What happens if one of those areas, my little theme that popped up, right, that northeast corner of that unit, I'm like, hmm, that, that might cause me some problems. What if I do get a spot fire there? That's what I'm gonna use this for. So the way this works is we go into uh, IFTDIS and we pick the model that we want to run and we create our run. I'm just going to show you this. Then I'll, I, I, I kind of did this like Julia Childs. I ran a whole bunch of stuff already so I can pull it out of the oven and show you what it looks like when it's cooked. Um, but, but until then, let me show you just real quick how it's not that hard. Um, so basically what I do is I find my, uh, my landscape that I created. And I grab that and you can see it'll pop up on the map on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, just like in behave, this is where I'm going to put in my inputs. So I put in my wind. I decide what kind of crown fire I'm using and you can read about any of these things. If you're not sure, you can click on the little question mark. Um, fuel moistures, you have to put those into behave also. Put them in here into if this same thing. Um, and in this case, what I'm doing is I have to tell it how long do I want the model to run for? Um, so I, I'm going to tell it two hours. So I fill in all my stuff. Then I run it and now I'm going to do I'm going to pull this, the lasagna out of the oven here and show you what it looks like now that it's cooked. So in this one. The output I use, this is our moderate prescription parameters. So just that middle ground of my. Uh, of my prescription. And what I'm going to show you is rate of spread. Because we're going to tie, because I want to tie this a little bit back to um, maybe using contain potentially in order to figure out what resources I might need. So turning on, I'm going to change the map layer to uh, more of a Google Earthy thing. And let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see it. So what I did is I picked those spot fires on the northeast corner and I picked one on the west side. Remember my problem areas that I identified using that the just the basic um, landscape fire behavior stuff. And I said, OK, spot fire, I want you to run for two hours and we're going to use just our moderate prescription. So this is just what would happen if we were burning under those regular conditions. And you can see we have, a, you know, we've got some growth here in two hours. Um, I have a little measure tool that I can use so I can grab that guy and I can measure from my spot fire to the edge. And in two hours, it went about a third of a mile. Or a quarter mile, depends on where you pick kind of on the edge of the spot. So in two hours, I had about a quarter mile, you know, of of growth. So that that can be useful. So now I know and then I can also this is that little identify tool up here that little um, where I can click on it and figure out um, what my rate of spread was. I can do it from the colors, right, yellow, but I can just say I'm going to click on this yellow here. And now it's going to show me that um, 
You see, my rate of spread was 13 chains an hour on that particular spot. So I could go back to my production tables and sort of do my own version of contain where I go, well, if this thing's running at 13 chains an hour, what types of resources would I need to get around something like that? Or I could just go into contain and behave and just run my contain model. But at least now I've got it tied to a location. And I think those things can be really powerful when you put those things together. So you can do a, you can use this tool a lot of different ways. But this little, so this would remember, this was a west wind, a straight uh, wind out of, out of the west. So you can see the spot fire, of course, that I put on the west side just burned back into the unit, which is what we would expect to happen. So not, not terribly concerned about this west side with a west wind, but this east, this northeast corner is a little more of, a, of an issue. So now, so what I did is I went in and I ran three different runs using my different prescription parameters and that compare weather tool in IFTDIS. So hang with me as I click through a few things. Um, I've got this compare weather tool and that's where, again, you, sh you look at them side by side. So I'm gonna go to my workspace. I already ran this again. We're pulling the lasagna out of the oven here. And I'm just gonna go ahead. You have these filters up here that make things really easy to find stuff. So this is my, um, my, my spread comparison. And I'm gonna look at that here on the, uh, on the map. Let me add in my boundary so it's easier to see. And I wanna look at rate of spread. And Sorry, we're actually having a little issue with this. The thumbnails are not showing up. So just hang with me on this. I'm gonna go to the map here in just a second. But you can see I've got three different options, um, left, middle, and right. And basically they are my regular prescription, then a prescription where I amped up the winds to about 15 miles an hour to see if I got these gusty winds, what would happen. And then I did another one where the wind switched on me and went came out of the other direction. So let me go to the map. It'll be easier to see this. Um, so you just you you line this up, you run it, you give it a name, you save it, and then you can go to the map. Hopefully that's not too laggy. And now, hold on a second. Let me zoom out again. Done. Okay. So this is my original that I just showed you. So that's with just that wind that is. Um, that's a regular, just my regular prescription. Okay, so I looked at that, that's good. Now this next one is, you can see it says 25 miles an hour. I added another 10 miles an hour to the wind. What happens if I got a wind gust or something I didn't expect? Um, everything else remaining the same. The only thing that changed is the wind. You can see my spread distance is quite a bit further now. So that's that's informative. Okay, that's some gusty wind action. Now, what happens if I the wind switched on me and I got a wind out of the east? Now I've got this issue here on the west side of my burn. So you can start playing with these things based on you know, your own knowledge of the burn unit area and uh, you know, in what areas you know might cause you problems. Then you can take all of this information and you can look at it. Let me show you this in Google Earth really quick. And that'll be the last thing I show you here. Um, but I think this can be really helpful too, because now we can look at things with a little different perspective. Let's see, hopefully, oops, that's not what I wanted. Wrong one, hang with me, almost there. Google Earth Pro, there we go. Okay, so hopefully you're looking at Google Earth now. And so this again, here's my burn unit, and we can just use Google, Google Earth like we usually do. And what I have turned on, I was you can export these out of IFTDIS and put them into Google Earth. And what I've got here is the there's the is the prescription parameters. The green is just the regular. And then the yellow is when I added that extra 10 mile an hour wind to it. So you can see, and of course with Google Earth, now I can really get an idea of the terrain. In fact, I in this unit, I'm going to flip this thing all the way around. So I'm looking out of it from out of the south. Now you can really get a much better idea of what's happening. So again, now the wind is coming, it's still a west wind, but now you can see, the reason this we had a greater rate of spread here is because you can see the fuel model change, right? It's much more grassy. 
the other th so then that's with just the regular west wind now i could turn those off and turn on my wind switch and see what now that's now that's if my wind switched on me and i can see now again you can get a much better idea of the terrain here of what would happen if i had that switch and the fire moved outside of my boundary off to the uh, west remember i flipped the map around so we're actually looking south right now but that's the beautiful thing about google earth right is we can we can we can take a look at all different angles here and see uh and, and really look at the terrain, the access, and that should all play into our holding plans.